Today I'm taking the new Nike Pegasus 36 out for some speed work and I'll be answering some viewer questions on this new running shoe. As you know, I managed to bag the Nike Pegasus 36 before it officially hit the shelves. I took them out with some speed work, in mind that the third race in the Yeovilton 5K series is coming up very soon. At a higher pace, the shoe still feels pretty good. It's about five to 10 grams lighter than the Pegasus 35. Although most of this saving does appear to come from the slightly thinner upper. The upper's a little thinner, it's more refined, and I think that's where the weight saving is coming in. The upper's far more breathable, the mesh is a bit more flexible and a little thinner in hand. So I've received quite a few questions from viewers in terms of my initial thoughts on the Pegasus 36, and I aim to answer your questions now. So question number one, is the shoe true to size? Yes, in my opinion, the shoe is true to size. I'm a UK size 11, and I feel this shoe fits just great. In terms of my experiences with other Nike shoes, I'm a size 11, pretty much always. This shoe does fit me true to size. Yes, that tongue is a little thinner, but I don't feel that it's cause for you to go down half a size. Obviously, we're all created differently. Uh, some of us have much larger feet, some of us more narrow feet. I would always suggest that you test out a shoe in person if possible. Question number two, is it worth upgrading to the Pegasus 36 from the Pegasus 35? There's three things to take into account here, guys. There are three upgrades, uh, the change in the tongue, the breathability, and the weight. They're all advantages, guys. They're all improvements. They're all upgrades. But at present, there are some fantastic deals going on the Nike Pegasus 35. I feel if you're on a budget, you're looking for that value, I would go for the 35 right now. It was, and still is, a really fantastic shoe. It's very versatile, and it can be used for all sorts of different functions. For the price, the Nike Pegasus 35 is the better value shoe right now. Question number three, are the midsole and outsole the same as the Pegasus 35? From my observations, in hand, the shoes do seem to have the same midsole and outsole construction. It's the same insole, it's the same feel, you're gonna get the same type of ride. Please keep those questions flooding in, guys. It's fantastic to read all your comments. I really do enjoy trying to help out other fellow runners. Okay, that's all for me today, guys. It would mean a great deal to me if you would consider subscribing to the channel. I'm so appreciative of all my viewers, of which the numbers are growing day by day. Please comment if you're considering purchasing the Pegasus 36. I'm always interested to read your views and opinions. Hit that like button and click the bell for notifications. My name's Ed Budd, and I'll be seeing you.